Hi, I'm Mrs. Stranaka, and I am going to be reading to you um, Pets in the Workplace, um, text one. It's called, Do Pets in the Workplace Improve Morale? And morale, just so you know, is like your overall feeling about something. So if it's making you feel better to have your pet in the workplace. <clears throat> okay. Human research resource, sorry, managers are always looking for ways to improve morale and create more appealing workplace culture. The popularity of the recent film, The Secret Life of Pets in 2016, underscores the love we Americans have for our pets. In fact, around 65% of US households are home to at least one pet. You saw before, I had no Jay. We also have another cat, Oreo. The majority of these are dogs and cats. The benefits of being around animals have inspired human resource personnel and other business decision makers to allow pets in the workplace. The top motive for making this allowance is the stress reducing effect that animals bring. Now you will see that that text, that line is highlighted and then um, Miss Collins has off to the side, um, she used the comment button, which is a little like square with the three lines, and she put a comment next to it, meaning her notes, okay? That's how she's putting her notes in. Um, and so then you will do the same thing as you go throughout these texts. You'll highlight it, you'll just go and use your mouse, highlight it, and then put the comment button and add your note. Make sure you say, if it's a pro, meaning you're for, pets in the workplace or it's for pets in the workplace um, or a con if it's against having a pet in the workplace and then say why. You need to give a reason why otherwise you're not going to remember why you highlighted and then you got to reread it all over again and so that's just silly. Okay I'll continue on sorry. Employees who are less stressed at work are more productive and miss fewer days due to being sick. Next paragraph. Pet friendly businesses usually focus mainly on allowing dogs in the workplace. However, some allow cats, birds, and reptiles. A retail business might have to have shop cats that live on the premises or smaller animals kept in cages that can become company mascots and offer a source of stress relief for workers. An internet giant paves the way with pets in the workplace. These days, about 2,000 dogs accompanying their owners to Amazon each day. Workers in management have embraced the culture and the pet-friendly policy benefits both owners and those who don't own pets. No matter what the workday brings, Amazon staff members are never far away from a coworker's terrier or spaniel poking its head out around the corner. Any stress they're feeling just melts away. Pet-friendly workplaces rate higher so Banfield Pet Hospital recently surveyed over 1,000 employees and 200 human race decision makers for its Pets at Work barometer called Pet Friendly Workplace Parometer. Uh -huh. The goal was to measure work opinion, worker opinions about pets in the workplace. Those who work in the pet friendly offices were found to believe it improves the atmosphere in the workplace significantly. The majority of workers in pet friendly workplace consider the policy to be positive. A full 91% of managers and 82% of employees felt workers become more loyal to the company with this policy. A large majority felt it made the workplace more productive and 86% of workers and 92% of management reported decreased worker stress level. Not only do pets in the workplace make the environment less stressful, Workers are also less burdened with guilt about leaving a pet at home alone while they're at work. They are then more likely to work longer hours if required. So as you're going through this, make sure you're marking up the text and looking to see, gee, is most of this a pro? Is it for pets in the workplace, the benefits of it, or a con against pets in the workplace? It's not beneficial to workers. All right, continuing on the second page. While pet friendly businesses improve existing employees' lives, they're also uh, appealing to new applicants.
Americans. It's a benefit that millennials find appealing and offers a way to draw in a larger talent pool. And millennials are um, the younger generation who's going into work, like 20s or so. So how do pet-friendly workplaces stack up in terms of pros and cons? Let's take a look. The benefits of pets in the workplace. So here are the benefits of pets in the workplace. Happier, more productive workers. Both pet owners and non-pet owning employees report lowered stress levels and a higher level of job satisfaction with pets on the premises. This naturally leads to increased productivity. Healthy workers, in addition to reduced stress levels, being around animals has documented positive effects on blood pressure, cholesterol levels, and the immune system. Increased loyalty. Over half of employees in non-pet friendly workplaces report they'd be more likely to continue working for a company if they could bring their pet to work. Potential problems you may encounter by allowing pets in the workplace. So here you see there's a switch, okay? Potential problems, mm, pro or con. Not everyone is an animal lover. There are people who dislike animals for one reason or another. Allergies, phobias, or a general dislike of animals could cause pets in the workplace to encroach upon productivity and quality of life for these individuals. Hygiene and cleanliness issues. Even potty trained pets can have an accident now and then. There's no guarantee this won't happen in the workplace, especially with a high volume of animals brought to work. Interoffer squabbles. Not all animals get along, so there's the potential for fights between dogs and cats brought to work. That, that would be an interesting work day. While worker distraction is a concern for some human resource managers considering a pet-friendly policy, the vast majority report that the benefits to morale and overall productivity far outweigh time spent distracted by pets in the workplace. Advocates by allowing pets in the workplace insist that there are ways around the cons or risks of pet-friendly workplaces. The key to successful pet policy is clear structure. And this is excerpted and adapted from Do Pets in the Workplace Improve Morale, um, August 8th, 2016. And if you look at the bottom, it does give you uh, two words that they define. The millennials, the generation born in the 1980s or 1990s, especially in the US, and encroach, which means intrude upon. All right, I hope this video helps with text one, pets in the workplace.